So can you tell me, see you have studied class 11th also. So can you tell me who gave this term biology? See, I didn't ask this question to class 11 students because see, they are not familiar that much. But since you have studied class 11, that's why I thought that you might be knowing it. Even if you don't know it, there's no problem. I'll tell you. But can you tell me one thing? Who is responsible for your expenses? And who is responsible for uh, managing your family completely? Sir, uh... Papa. Your father. Okay. Normally, this is the thing in across all the families. So here also, in uh, science also, and in biology also, there are fathers. So father yes, of that particular subject is the one who helped in Critical. establishing... Yes. Sir, who is it? No, no, no. Is the one who helped in establishing that particular branch of science or biology, for that matter. So who is called as the father of biology? Now, this question is very simple. It has been repeated so many times in All India PMT. Earlier, when NEET was not there, All India PMT was there. So this, this yes, was repeated sir. so many times. Who is called as the father of biology? Can you tell me that? Okay. I'll tell you. Aristotle. How you can say Whitaker? Whitaker just gave the five kingdom classification. Yes, it is Aristotle. Sir. It is Aristotle. Sir, he, was a, yes. he was a Greek philosopher and he was a scientist as well. He was an all-in-one personality at that time. And the science was not, uh, you know, specialized into biology or physics or chemistry or something like that. Even these days, the science has been specialized into microbiology or biotechnology, biochemistry, and so many. Okay. So Aristotle yes, was the one who is called as the father of biology. And let me tell you one more thing. Biology can be divided into two branches. There are not only two branches, there are many branches of biology, but there is one branch of biology, uh, which is very important because of Aristotle. And there's one more branch, which is rather equally important. So those two branches are, can you tell me those branches? Uh, sir, no, sir. Botany and zoology. Zoology. Yes, what is botany and what is zoology? Can you tell me? A botany is the... Um... Study of plant or uh, zoology is the study of animals. Yes, very good. So see, zoon in Greek, just like bios in Greek means life and logos means study, just like that, zoon in Greek means animals and logos means study. So study Sorry. of animals is called as zoology. Study of yes, animals sir. is called as zoology. zoology. Whereas botany is the study of plants. Botany is the study of Plants. plants. So you can write that as well. Zoon means uh, animal and logos means study. So Aristotle is also called as, write it down, the father of zoology. That's why I told you about this. Aristotle is the one who is called as the father of biology as well as the father of zoology. The father of uh, biology as well as father of zoology. Zoolos. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. And talking about botany, who is the father of botany? Can you tell me that? Okay. It is Theophrastus. Yes, sir. Theophrastus. Have you heard his name? Yes, sir. See, yes, uh, sir. the temperament of teaching uh, 11 students and 12 students is completely different. In case of 11 students, they have just come after doing their 10th. So we teach them from the very basics. But when we teach uh, 12th class students, we, we, we expect that, you know, uh, the person or the student must be knowing uh, the basic things, isn't it? So you see, yes, you have sir. studied Theophrastus, you have studied about this guy also, but you were not remembering its name. So you have to, you know, understand the things more properly. Yes, Is it fine? Yes, yes no problem. No now problem. I asked you a question a few minutes back. Who gave the term biology? It is that great man called as, when I would tell you, you would understand in your seventh chapter, that is evolution in class 12. Yes, you must have seen yes, that sir. chapter. This, the name of this man is there. And this man is very, very important. He, along with one more person, gave the term biology. He is associated with evolution. Yes, Jean sir. Baptiste de Lamarck. 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 Yes, okay. Sir. Lamarck and Triveranus. These were the two two persons 
who gave the term biology. The mark and tree brands. Is it fine? Yes, Note sir. it down. I hope you are noting down the things. Yes, sir. So that you don't forget it again. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Okay. Yes, so sir. this Lamarck, this person was very, very important. Why this person was important? What we need to do is that, see, this person Lamarck was the one who gave a theory which was very prominent in evolution. If you allow me to erase this because I need some space to write. Okay. Now let's come to this. Let's talk about uh, Lamarck, since it is in your class 12th academics syllabus also. So Lamarck was the one yes, who sir. gave a theory. This is called as theory of inheritance of acquired characters. Yes, sir. Of acquired characters. Now, this theory was very important. And what he said was also very important. There was a question once in the NEAT examination. In which book Lamarck mentioned about the theory of inheritance of acquired characters? The name of this book was uh, Philosophy Zoologic. Write it down. This is a very important question. Yes, sir. Philosophy Zoologic. This is a very important question. Philosophy Zoologic. And the year in which this was published was 1809. Earlier in the All India PMT exams, the year also used to be asked. Now they don't ask the years, but they will ask you the name of the theory as well as uh, the name of the book. Okay, okay they are not sir. going to ask you the okay, See, they are going to ask you only two or three years. That is the discovery of DNA or the discovery of or the you know evidence for origin of life and all. Nothing more than that. Nowadays they don't ask you the years. So it is philosophy zoologic, and philosophy zoologic was the name of that book. Please note it down. Now, what was this theory all about? According to this theory, Lamarck said that whatever character which we acquire in our life is inherited by the next generation. Write it down. This theory states that the characters acquired by an organism are inherited to the next generation or inherited by the next generation. It means that if you, you know, if any particular character is acquired in your lifetime, it would be inherited by your offsprings. And he gave a very beautiful example of giraffe. He said that, you know, giraffe's neck is uh, elongated as compared to all other animals. See, the neck of giraffe is its speciality. It is very much elongated. And the neck of the giraffe is elongated because of what? The neck of giraffe is elongated because... According to Lamarck, it used to raise its head. Yes, no, no, natu no, natural selection is, see, it was explained by natural selection later on by Charles Darwin, not by Lamarck. What Lamarck said was that it used, the giraffe used to raise its head to eat the leaves present on the higher branches. Eat the leaves yes. present on the higher branches. And when it used to raise its head again and again, through thousands of generations, its neck became elongated. Slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly, its neck became elongated. And now the neck of giraffe is its speciality. It has become elongated. It is not elongated like that in any other organism or any other animal for that matter. Is it clear? Okay, yes. sir. Yes, Anisha, any doubt? No, sir. So, you know, the objections, the, but there were several objections. Several people said that this theory cannot be correct because there was one example and this example I would give you from a country from which coronavirus has come. Which is that country? China. Chinese, yes. Chinese women. China. So Chinese women. Earlier, you know, the Chinese, all the Chinese women used to wear iron shoes. Nowadays also, if you go to the, you know, villages of China, they wear iron shoes. And that's why the feet of those ladies become smaller as compared to the feet of the women across the world, like Italian uh, women or, you know, for that matter, the persons from UK or from, you know, any, any women from the American women or any other uh, women from any other country. So their feet become smaller. So if this theory of Lamarck was correct, in that case, the offsprings of these Chinese women should also have their feet smaller as compared to the other babies. Do you agree with this? 
Yes or no? No, sir. Does this happen? Does this happen? I'm telling you again. See, if this theory of Lamarck is correct, the Chinese women, since they wear iron shoes, their feet becomes very, very small as compared to their feet becomes very small as compared to other women like Italian women or American women or any other women or Indian women for that matter. But if this theory is correct, if this theory is correct, the feet of their babies or their offsprings should be smaller than the feet of the normal babies. Does yes, it happen? So, Anisha, just like this, we have said that Chinese women ke case mein jo example tha, dhyan se samajhna beta. Technical terms mein English mein bolunga, but I would continue. I would uh, make a mix of both. So, this mein ye kaha gaya tha ki uh, Lamak mein ye yeah, kaha ki yeah, giraffe yeah. ka neck jo hai, wo lamba isliye hai kyunki usko pedo pe higher branches pe jo patte hote hai, wo khane ke liye usko baar baar apne neck ko raise karna pata hai. Lekin kuch objections the iske khilaaf. Pehla objection ye hai ki Chinese women iron shoes pehnti hain, jisse unke pair chote ho jate hain. वर्ल्ड के दूसरी लेडीज से उनके कंपैरिजन में तो अगर ये थ्योरी सही है तो चाइनीज वुमेन के पैर छोटे हो जाते हैं तो उनके बच्चों के पैर भी छोटे होने चाहिए नॉर्मल बेबीज के कंपैरिजन में या दूसरे बेबीज के कंपैरिजन में क्या ऐसा होता है नो no, सर ऐसा नहीं होता है वेरी गुड इट डज नॉट हैपन दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज आस्किंग यू इट डज नॉट हैपन और ऐसा नहीं होता इसका मतलब लेमार्क की ये थ्योरी इस चीज को एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पा रही लेकिन चाइनीज है सर यस देखो चाइनीज वुमेन वेयर आयरन शूज बट देयर ऑफस्प्रिंग्स आर एब्सोल्युटली नॉर्मल देयर ऑफस्प्रिंग्स आर नॉट हैविंग स्मॉलर फीट एज कंपेयर टू अदर बेबीज not having smaller feet i hope it is clear to you okay okay sir now, okay so dusra aata hai ki iske alawa ek aur example diya gaya bodybuilders bodybuilders bahut mehnat karke they go to the gym aur bahut mehnat karke apni body banate hain jaise you know there is a you know indian uh, actor rithik roshan so rithik roshan yes, ne body banayi bahut achhi body banayi to uske jo bacche hain rehan aur redan unki body kya bachpan se developed ho ke aayi आप अपने कान में इिंग पहनते हो पहले नोज में भी रिंग पहनती थी लड़कियां आजकल वो फैशन कम हो गया बट स्टिल गर्ल्स वेयर इयर रिंग्स अक्रॉस दर्ल्ड नाउ इफ दिस थियोरी इज करेक्ट द ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स ऑफ दीज गर्ल्स शुड हैव देर स्किन पियर्स्ड From the very beginning, होता है क्या? No sir. No, very good. So, wearing, you know what, earrings, but their offspring's are absolutely normal and their ears are not pierced. Okay. Next, okay, one sir. more example I will give you, which is the biggest prize in biology, or which is not biology, I will say, which is, which is the biggest prize in science, because this is not given in biology. This is given in physics. This is given in chemistry, and this prize is also given in. instead of biology Nobel it is Prize. given in, yes it is instead of biology it is given in uh, physiology and medicine it is also given in peace it is also given in economics and so many literature also but here we are concerned only about biology tell me nobel prize in physiology and medicine that is given to those persons who are very intelligent and who have made a very good discovery jinhone bahut kuch acha avishkar kiya ho hai na unko diya jata hai nobel prize lekin kai baar us hisab se dekho to wo to itne intelligent hai their offspring should be very very intelligent लेकिन कई बार uh, no, उनके ऑफस्प्रिंग्स यस yes, कई बार उनके ऑफस्प्रिंग्स इतने डल होते हैं कि वो उनको सोसाइटी के सामने इंट्रोड्यूस नहीं करना चाहते दे फील अशेम टू इंट्रोड्यूस देयर ऑफस्प्रिंग्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे फील कि सोसाइटी मजाक बनाएगी कि खुद तो नोबेल प्राइज विनर है बट द ऑफस्प्रिंग्स वेरी डल क्यों ऐसा होता है क्योंकि जो दूसरा पार्टनर है उसके इंटेलिजेंस पे भी तो डिपेंड करेगा यस सर आर यू एबल टू गेट सर मेनली मेनली दिस इंटेलिजेंस डिपेंड ऑन मदर नो नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट it 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 is dependent on both it is dependent on both okay because okay sir yeah there are you know the traits of intelligence are on both is it fine 50% yes, character comes from mother 50% comes from father is it fine 